to play some music to go along with your practice. Silence is fine as well, whatever is good for you. Um, this practice is going to be uh, a heart opener, so check. Right, so we're always hunching over whether we're playing God or we're working over a computer or just looking down at our phones. So the point of this entire practice is to open up the chest in the opposite direction. So if you ever feel like you are tired and you don't want to do the move, you are welcome to come into child's pose, which is your resting pose, right? This is your home base. So that is just sitting back with your knees nice and wide and bowing your head like so. This is your home base, so if you feel tired, this is where you go, okay? So, now I think everybody's jumped on the line. I'm going to mute everyone, and we will get started. Thumbs up if you guys can hear me all right. Cool, good. All right. So, I would like everybody to start with their, um, on their butts with their legs crossed. If you have a block or a pillow nearby, I do recommend you put that under your butt so that you can and sit kind of on the edge of it, but your, your hips are tilted forward. What this looks like from a profile position, you can do this with a pillow as well, is you're just sitting on the edge, find a comfortable spot, and it makes your spine nice and straight here, and it makes it a little more comfortable to sit like this. If you don't have a block, totally fine. You can just sit cross legs, facing the camera. Now find a comfortable position for yourself. Put your hands on your knees, allow your shoulders to drop, close your eyes and start to connect to your breath. Taking normal breaths in, normal breaths out. And noticing how you feel this morning. Checking in with the body. Noticing what places need a little more attention this morning. Check in with the mind. How are you feeling? Are you anxious? Are you stressed? Are you at peace or happy? Whatever you feel this morning, just notice it without judgment. Now check in with the breath. And notice how your breath is this morning. Is it long and deep? Is it shallow, short? Is it shaky? Not changing it, just noticing. A deep breath in, deep breath out. Again, breathe in, breathe out. One more time in, breathe in, let it go. Let's practice a little bit of breath work so we can center ourselves in the mat. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold the breath and let it go. Again, breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold and release. Again, inhale. One, Two, three, four. Hold the breath a little bit longer this time. And release. Two more like this. Breathe in. One, 
two, three, four, hold, release. Last one, breathe in. One, two, three, four, hold, keep holding, release down. Keeping your eyes closed, just return to return to a normal breathing pattern. Good, and check in. I want you guys to visualize with your eyes closed what your ultimate place of happiness is. Where do you feel peace? What does that look like? Who are you with? Notice the sounds, the smells, the touch of your key place of happiness and contentment. I want you to keep an eye and keep a mind, reminder of that in your head for after our practice. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Start to open up your eyes slowly, inviting in light, colors, and shapes. Let's wake up the body. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Good. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. One more time, like so. Inhale. Exhale down. Good. Take your hands behind your neck. Bring your elbows forward. Hug your uh, elbows towards your ears. Inhale. Open up the elbows, look up towards the sky. On your exhale, close the elbows down the head, round the neck. Inhale, lift up, open up the elbows, look up. Exhale, bring it back into the center, round the back, bow the head. Again, inhale, open up, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, close the elbows together, round the back. Good. One more, like this. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round the back, bow the head, close the elbows. Good. Inhale, release your grip, bring your hands down. Take your right hand to your right hip. Take your left hand to your left knee. Inhale, tall, make your spine nice and tall here. And then on your exhale, peer over your right shoulder for a gentle twist. On your next exhale, peek a little bit deeper over that shoulder, deep in the twist. Good, inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Left hand to left hip, right hand to left knee. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, peer over the left shoulder this time for a twist on the left side. With your next exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Good. One more breath in. Exhale, come back to center. All right, so let's come onto all fours facing the top of our mat. Stack your wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips into tabletop pose. Keep your gaze at the mat or the space between your hands. I want you to drop your belly and look up towards the ceiling. Inhale. On your exhale, round the back like a Halloween cap. Push into the mat. Let your head drop. Good. Again, drop the belly, look up, inhale. Exhale, round. Continue to do this at your own pace. 
moving as fine as you need to, whatever feels good to you this morning. Remembering to move with the breath. Keep going, a couple more rounds like this. Good, two more. One more, inhale. Exhale, round. Good. Come to a neutral spine in tabletop position. Extend your right arm out towards the front of you and your left leg back. It's gonna challenge your balance a little bit here. Hold. And then on your exhale, bring your elbow and bring your knee together under your belly. Let the back round. Inhale, extend the arms and the foot out again. Exhale, bring those elbow, that elbow and that knee together around the back. Good. One more time like this. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, round. Inhale, stretch them out again. Extend out, flexing that back foot. I want you to tuck the knee that's touching the mat. I want you to tuck that toe so you have a little bit more stabilization here. From here, I want you to take your front hand, the leading hand, and try to bring it back here to meet your, your, um, your leg and meet your foot for a little bit of a twist here. If this is too high, that's totally fine. You can just reach back. But the progression is, and the goal is to grab your foot. Hold and breathe here. Good. One more breath in. And release down. Good, guys. Let's do the other side. Left hand goes forward. Right leg goes back. Flex that back foot. Hold here. Inhale. On your exhale, bring that knee and that elbow together around the back. Good. Inhale. Stretch out. Exhale. Round. Good, guys. Inhale, stretch one more time. Exhale, round. Inhale, stretch the legs and the arm out. And then when you're ready, start to reach back to that foot. Open up the chest here. If this is too hard, remember you can just reach back and extend the back leg out. One more breath in, and lower it down, back to tabletop. Bring your feet together behind you, shoot your hips back, come into child's pose, bow your head. Knees nice and wide if you like a hip opener. Knees together if you want a lower back opener. Connect to your breath here, close your eyes. Good. One more breath here. Now I want you to shift your weight forward a little bit so that your hips are stacked over your knees. Keep your hands extended. Keep your head bowed down for extended puppy pose. You should feel this in your shoulders a little bit. A good feeling. Breathe. Good. One more breath here. Start to shift your weight forward. Come onto your belly. Bring your hands by your chest. Untuck your toes and just push into the mat and lift your chest lightly. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, lift a little bit deeper this time, kind of lifting up the rib cage. Good, exhale, lower. Do that same position again, lift up, bringing the rib cage up. Good, lower. One more time like that, inhale, lift. 
exhale, lower. You guys are doing great. Tuck your toes, lift up your hips, come into your first down dog of the day. So bend your knees as you need to here. Because our legs aren't quite warmed up yet, let's walk out the dog a little bit by pedaling our heels, opening up the back of the legs. Remember, your legs are doing the work, but your hands and your, your shoulders should be stable. So you're pushing into all four corners of your hands and making sure that you're make, trying to make that inverted V with your body. Now let's find stillness in the legs and just find a comfortable downward facing dog. Good. Hmm. One more breath in. One more breath out. Lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Flex the toes. Keep the leg lifted here. Shoulders should be pointed towards the mat. Allow your left heel to drop down towards the mat. Open up the back of that left leg. On your next exhale, bring that knee towards your chest, the top knee, and set it between your hands. Good. Drop the back knee, untuck the back toe. Lift your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. And then make a T position with your hands, opening up the chest. So this looks like this. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Good, guys. Hold this position here. Remember to breathe. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Plant the hands around the front foot. Shift your weight back. Let your front toes point towards the ceiling. Extend those toes up. Extend your right arms out in front of you for a hamstring stretch. Good. One more breath in. On your exhale, shift your weight forward, bend that front knee. Step back into a high plank. Good. Remember to breathe. Inhale. On your exhale, lower down into a low push up or all the way down to the mat. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, lift up into cobra or upward facing dog. On your exhale, tuck your toes. Lift up your hips. Downward facing dog. Good. Breathe here. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg up to the sky this time. Keep that top foot flexed, both shoulders pointing towards the mat. Hold here. Good. Inhale. On your exhale, bring that knee towards the chest. Step it between the hands. Good. Drop the back knee. Untuck the back toe. Lift up into low lunge. Open up the chest here by making your arms out to a T. Bringing your elbows back behind you, gazing up towards the ceiling. Open up the chest. Good. Two more breaths here. One more breath. On your exhale, frame that front foot. Shift your weight back, toes up towards the ceiling. Open up the back of the hamstrings on this side. Breathe. Good. One more breath. And then on your exhale, shift your weight forward. Step back into that high plank. Hold. Inhale. And your exhale, lower down into a low push up or drop your toe, drop your belly and tuck, untuck your toes. Lift up, cobra or downward facing dog if that's in your practice. Exhale, shift the weight back, downward facing dog or child's pose. Breathe. Close your eyes and connect to your breath here. One more breath in. On your exhale, step up to meet your hands. Come into a forward fold. Bend your knees as you need to here. Remember in a forward fold, we're not trying to bring 
our head to our, our feet. We're trying to bring our chest to our thighs. And then our head just kind of hangs out there. It help make sure it makes it makes it so you hinge at the hips and not round the back when you do a forward fold. So that's why I invite you to bend your knees when you need to to make that contact with the thighs of your chest. Let your head hang. Grab opposite elbows here. Nod yes and no. Let the head release. Close your eyes, connect to your breath. Good. Start to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, coming to a standing position. Shoulders and head come last. Good. All righty, let's practice a little bit of balance, guys. If you fall out, it's fine. I actually have a good side and a bad side, so I'm probably going to fall out on my bad side, just a disclaimer. So what we're going to do here is I want you to find a focal point on the floor or something ahead of you that you can really focus your energy on. If you focus on one position, you're less likely to fall. Um, that's why when you watch other people do balance poses, you typically fall out of it. <clears throat> so find your focal position and bring your weight into your right foot. Now I want you to just lift up your left knee, flex that front foot. Good. Now I want you to bring that left foot behind you and grab it with your left hand. Good. Bend into that front knee, if you, into the standing knee if you need to for a little bit more stabilization. And then lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Find that focal point and remember to breathe. If this is too easy for you, Lean a little bit forward, hinge at the hips, extend out for dancer's pose. Keep that position, don't fall out like I did. Good. Warm a breath in, warm a breath out. Release your grip on the back foot. Bring your other hand towards your lead hand, extend your left leg back, hold here. Hinge a little bit further forward for you in warrior three. And then bring those hands down towards the mat. Bend your knee as you need to here, but keep your top leg lifted. Now, this is a pretty deep pose. So remember to bend your knee as you need to and let your head hang. Good. Beautiful. One more breath in here. One more breath out. Inhale. And then on the exhale, bring that top leg down. Bring it to meet your right. Good. Roll it by vertebrae, by vertebrae again. Come to a standing position. Good. Now come to the top of your mat. I'm going to come on this side so you guys can see me a little bit more. I want you to keep your front, let your right foot where it is, and I want you to step your left leg back. Point your toes, your feet at an angle. Bend into that front knee. And then bring your arms out to a T. Drop the shoulders here. So the position you're in is warrior two. Some key alignment cues here. You should be bending in that front knee, but not ahead of your foot. It should have integrity there. That knee should also be pulled outward and not be collapsing in. And then your shoulders should be away from your ears and you're gazing over your lead hand. Good. Inhale, flip the front palm. Bring it up towards the ceiling. Let the back hand drop. Keeping that bend in the front knee. Exalted warrior. Good. Inhale. On your exhale, bring that top hand down to your elbow here, or to your knee, bring your elbow to your knee, sorry. And bring this left hand up towards the ceiling. Gaze towards that top hand. Extended side angle here. Now I want you to kind of open up. So I want you to bring that top hand and kind of draw, draw it back so that your chest is opening up here. If this is too easy for you, I encourage you to take the next modification, which is to bring your hand down towards your foot, but still encouraging that opening up in the chest. Good. Breathe here. Inhale. On your exhale, bring your top hand down to the mat. Frame your front foot. Step back. High plank. Hold here. Inhale. 
On your exhale, lower all the way down or come into a low push-up. And then on your inhale, lift your chest up, cobra pose, or downward, or upward facing dog. Then tuck your toes, lift up your hips, downward facing dog here, or child's pose if that's what your body needs this morning. Sit in this position for a couple of breaths. Breathe. Close your eyes and connect to your breath. Two more breaths like this. Good. One more breath in. One more breath out. Come back to your downward facing dog if you're not there. Inhale, gaze the space between your hands. On your exhale, step up to meet your hands. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, hands on the shins, straighten out the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse long dive. So open up your arms nice and wide. Reach them up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Stand in position. Now reposition yourself if you need to at the top of your mat. Let's do the other side here. So this is where your left leg is the standing leg and your right leg is the one that's being lifted. So let's put our weight into our left leg. Find our focal point on the wall with the floor behind, um, in front of us. Lift up that right leg, flex the foot. Good. Breathe here. On your exhale, start to bring that leg back. Take your right hand, reach for your right leg. Bring the left arm up towards the ceiling. Stay here if this is fine for you, or you can hinge forward a little bit here into dancer's pose. Remember to keep that focal point. If you fall out, that's totally fine. It happens. It happened to me just before this. About to fall out now. <laughs> Breathe. Exhale, release the grip on your back leg. Extend your back leg behind you. Right arm goes forward. Hand to the hip for warrior three. Good. Inhale here. Exhale here. One more breath in. Hand to the hip. Bring your hands down towards the mat. Bend your knees if you need to here. Keeping that back leg lifted, but bend into that front knee. Let your head hang. Good. Bring that back leg down behind your, um, behind your foot and drop the heel down. Point the foot out towards an angle here. Bend into the front knee if you need to. And then if you lift up your arm and open it up to a T, you should be in warrior two. Remember our alignment cues here. Bend in that front knee. Ring, make sure that knee is not collapsing in, but it's pulling out throughout the shoulders. Your hips should be pointing towards the outer edge of your mat. Good. Good. Inhale, lift the front arm up towards the ceiling. Let the back arm drop. It's like a boy, breathe. Remember to keep that bend in the front knee. Good. Bring that top hand down towards the, the elbow, towards the knee. Bend in that front knee. Right arm up towards the ceiling. Extended side angle. Stay here. Open up the chest a little bit by bringing that top hand behind you. If this is too easy, modification number two is to drop that elbow down and bring your hand towards the mat. Breathe. Good. Hmm. Good. Inhale. On your exhale, bring that top hand down towards the mat. Frame your front foot with the hand on either side. Turn your back foot so the toes are pointing towards the top of the mat. Step back, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Good. Inhale, lift up the chest. We're doing cobra, we're not doing upper facing dog. Exhale, lower all the way down, belly down. Now I want you to bring your arms out and ahead of you. Palms up towards the ceiling. Untuck your back toes. Come here. 
on your next inhale, I want you to lift up your feet and your arms at the same time. Inhale. Breathe here and hold. Good. One more time. Inhale. And exhale lower. Drop your cheek to the mat. Just let your body relax for a minute. Good. Round number two, you can continue to do that, or you can challenge yourself by doing boat pose, which is grabbing your feet and drawing, rounding your shoulders behind you. And right now I'm just in the resting pose here. But when you're actively doing this pose, you're going to be lip pushing into your um, hands, the grips of your hands, and lifting up the chest and the, um, and the knees at the same time. If this is too intense for you. Just stick with the standard pose, okay? The Superman pose. When we're ready, inhale, lift up into your modification. Breathe here. Good. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more breath in. Exhale, release everything down to the mat. Step your cheeks to one side. Relax your head. Bring your hands. By your chest, and then shift your weight back into child's pose. Breathe here. Close your eyes and connect to your breath. Two more breaths. One more breath. Come into downward facing dog. Good. Gaze at the space between your hands. Step, walk, or jump up to meet your hands. Good. Inhale, halfway, hands on the shin. Straighten out the back. Good. Exhale, lower all the way down. Let the body fold. Let your head, your head and your arms just hang. Good. Inhale, reverse swan dive here. Open up the arms, open up the chest, to reach out towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands and heart center. Good. <clears throat> Let's do another little bit more balance. So this technique is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to do my best to explain it. But what we're going to do before you guys do it is we're going to come into a warrior three position. We're going to hold this position for a few breaths. And then I want you to just take your top leg and you're going to bring it behind your right, and I'll let you and let yourself sit down like that. And what you're doing is you're coming into a twisted position, okay? And we're gonna do some twists from there. <clears throat> so we're standing from standing, hands at the heart center. Find your focal point again. Put your weight into that right foot. Inhale, lift up the left leg, and then exhale. Extend it behind you while simultaneously hinging your hips, so your head folds forward. Hold here. Hands at heart center still. Good. Find a focal point below you. One more breath in. And then I want you to start bringing that top leg behind your standing knee. And then I want you to bring that foot out to the right a little bit more and then bring yourself down to a seated position. So your feet should be, your legs should be like this and like a twist. Good. You're taking your right hand by your right hip. Left arm comes up. Inhale, nice and tall. And exhale, bring your elbow to the other side of your knee and twist here, here over your right shoulder. Good. Beautiful, guys. Looks like some of you got it. Fantastic. Kind of tricky. One more breath in. Bring yourself back to center. Now, I want you to frame that front foot again. And bring your weight forward. So you're starting to put your weight into that front leg. And then lift up the back leg. So you're back in that standing half forward position that we practiced earlier. And then just bring your foot down to meet each other. And come into a forward fold here. Good. One more breath in here. One more breath out. 
Inhale, arms all the way up, open up. Nice and tall. Exhale, hands are hard on here. Good, guys. Let's do that on the other side, okay? So we're putting our weight into our right foot this time. We're going to lift up the left leg. And then we're going to extend it back on our exhale and hinge forward, keeping the hands at heart center. Try to gaze below us to focus on. Five steps, better. Good. Two more breaths here. One more breath. So you have to bring that top leg behind you, standing at me, and then bring that foot out and sit back. Just thing again. I might have directed you guys in the wrong direction, so I want you to switch your legs so that your left leg is over your right. Good. Right hand, or sorry, left hand to left hip. Right hand arm up towards the ceiling, nice and tall. Exhale, bring that elbow across, twist here, tear over your left shoulder. Good. One more breath in. Exhale, bring yourself to center. Now we are on the right side, and I did, I did direct you guys wrong. Sorry about that. We should be able to bring our weight into our left foot and frame that front leg or frame the foot with our hands. Bring your weight into that left foot and lift your back leg up. Because I missed this side, let's stay here. I want you to find a focal position. Bring, make sure that your left leg is nice and sturdy. Bring your hands to heart center and come into that warrior three position on the left side. Good. Two breaths here. One more breath in. Bring that top leg down. And let yourself hang forward, forward. Breathe. We're almost done with the hard bit, guys. Guys, I promise. Hmm. Inhale, arms out, up. The verse one, guys, up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands at heart center. Bring your feet together. Close your eyes. Take a breath here in standing pose. Hands at heart center. Regroup. Beautiful. Open up your eyes. Inhale your arms up. And then on your exhale, start to sit back into chair pose. Easier modification here is to have your feet a little bit wider. Sit back to your drop the shoulders away from your ears. It's a little bit more difficult pose, more balancing, feet together. So remember, we're sitting like we're sitting into a chair. We want to make sure that we are zipping up the pelvis so that we're not rounding in the back like this. So our chest should be leading and following our hands. Remember to make, create space between your ears and your shoulders. Hold here. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. Bring your left elbow to your right knee. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Make sure that you're not leaning onto that left side, that both knees are even. Good. A little bit more difficult, you can open up your wings here and gaze up towards the ceiling, encouraging a little bit more opening. One more breath in. Exhale, bring that top hand down. Stand up, hands on heart center. I know you, but I did feel that in my legs. So I'm going to shake out my legs a little bit before we do the other side. <clears throat> Guys, inhale, arms up. Sit back, chair pose. Whatever modification you guys choose. Good. Inhale. On your exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Bring that right elbow to your left knee. Twist here. Stay here with your gaze up towards the ceiling or open up your arms for a deeper twist. Stand into those knees. Make sure that you're not folding. Just sitting in that chair pose. Good. Inhale, arms up, stay in the chair pose. And then start to come onto your toes, 
sit down slowly, bringing your butt to your heels, and then sitting down to the Good. <clears throat> A little bit more work, and then we get to rest. Mm -hmm. So you can stay here in this modified boat pose if this is what your practice needs. So your feet are just resting on the mat. But you're leaning back a little bit and engaging the core. Your elbows are dropped. Palms are towards the ceiling. Chest is open. Modification number two. Lift up your knees, still keeping them bent. But everything else just stays the same. Modification three, extend your legs out, keeping that chest open. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax to the mat. And notice how good that feels right now. <laughs> <coughs> Bring your feet together, knees out wide. Bring a hand to your heart and a hand to your belly. Close your eyes. Allow your breath to slow down a little bit. Reconnect. Do my breath like this. Warm my breath in. Warm my breath out. Bring your knees together. And then bring your feet to your butt. <clears throat> so whichever modification is good for you right now, there are three things that we can do. We can do two different types of bridge or we can do full wheel. So the first modification is just to plant your hands by your hips. And then lift up your uh, lift up your hips and roll your shoulders back into the mat. This is just simple wheel, which is definitely okay. It's more of a restorative pose. You can even put a pillow under your lower back to support you here. For a deeper version, start to clasp your hands behind your um, lower back, keeping your chest and your hips lifted. Third modification is full wheel, which some of you, if you guys have been taking it, did some try from last week which is planting your hands so that your wrists are pointing towards the top of your mat and they're right by your ears. And you lift up your hips and push your chest forward. This might be too intense for you, so definitely just go to the bridge bridge pose. So I allow you just a few moments right now just for what your body needs before we actually do the pose with breath and counting. So let's decide what our modification is. And then... Take a breath in, take a breath out, and then lift up to bridge or wheel. And hold, remembering to breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slow it down. Good. We're going to do one more of that, and then we'll start to pull down. When you're ready, inhale, lift, bridge or wheel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. Beautiful, guys. Extend your legs out in front of you. Let your body relax for a minute. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug. Just round the back a little bit. Good. Extend your left leg out in front of you, but keep your right knee by your chest. Now guide your right knee across your body here for a twist. Bring your right hand out and extend it up to a T. And gaze towards that hand for a gentle twist here. Bring that knee back to center. Take your right hand, bring it to the right knee. And I want you to pull it out to the side, open up the hips a little bit here. 
try to keep that left hip planted on the mat. Just a gentle opening up in the hips here. Good. Bring that knee back to center. Extend it on front of you. Take your left knee to your chest. Bring your right hand onto the knee and pull it over to the right for a twist. Extend your left hand out to the left. Gaze towards that left hand. One more breath in. One more breath out. Bring that knee back to center. Switch your hands. Pull the knee out towards the left. Plant that right hip on the mat. Good. Inhale, bring the knee back to center. Bring the other knee into your chest. And I want you to reach your feet. Bringing your arms on the inside of your knees. Come into happy baby here. Rock from side to side. Massaging the lower back. Good. And release your grip. Take any last minute poses you feel your body might need this morning. And then when you're ready, Come into your resting pose, Shavasana. Closing your eyes. Palms up towards the ceiling, letting your legs just relax. And reconnecting to your breath. Notice how you're feeling after your practice. What feels good? What feels a little wonky? What needs some extra love this weekend or this week? Just notice. So the last few minutes of class, I'm going to guide you guys through a, a relaxation technique of mine, one of my personal favorites. Allow yourself to really relax and turn inward. I want you to start to visualize yourself on the 10th floor of a building. And you're walking towards an elevator. You push the button and the doors open and you step in. Turn around. You <clears throat> push the button for the first floor. The doors start to close and you start your descent. Ten, nine, eight. You start to feel lighter. Start to feel all the negative emotions rise up as you start to descend down the elevator. Seven, six, five. Your worries, your fears, start to lift. Four, three, two. Until you hit floor one. And the doors open, and you step out of the elevator, and you find yourself in that amazing place of happiness that you visualized and noted at the beginning of class.
you immediately feel that place of happiness vibrate through you. Smile, taking in the sight, the sound, the smile. As you find yourself in your place of peace. Let yourself be here, enjoying the moment. Taking in everything that makes you happy. Take on a few more moments in your place of peace. And start to make your way back to the elevator. You push the button, the door is open, and you step in and push the 10th door button. The door is closed. As you start to ascend, one, two, three. As you keep going up, your, your place of peace, your feeling, your happiness, your, all the stuff that you felt when you're in your happy place stay with you. Six, seven, you feel awake alert, but peaceful. Eight, nine, until you hit the tenth floor, the door's open, and you step out. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Bring your awareness back to your body, invite gentle movement by wiggling your toes, moving your head from side to side. And then roll over to one side, taking in these last few moments before you start your day. And then when you're ready, bring yourself up to a seated cross leg position facing me with your hands at heart center and your eyes closed. Great. Start to open up your eyes, inviting in light, colors, and shapes. Let's breathe in together. Inhale. Exhale, release. Thank you guys for talking with me today. I really hope you liked it. I welcome any feedback teaching Zoom that yoga is pretty difficult because it wears me out, but from my heart to yours, namaste. I'm going to unmute you, and I promise I bring the puppy out, so I'm going to do that, but um, I'm listening to all your feedback as well. How are you guys feeling? Uh, I feel amazing. Good. I'm glad. Hang on. Let me get this dog. <laughs>